I got you in anyway. So it's the start of the second day. Um, we just prayed Fajr for the first time in Masjid al -Aqsa. We're going to go back with the camera to, you know, like, do the place justice because it's a bit of an overwhelming thing and this phone is, you know, dead. But yeah, uh, we went to go visit uh, a fa family, is it? Yeah, um, quite, quite the scenes, but then like at the same time we're like, this isn't something we weren't expecting. There's a, a lady who shares a room, it was basically a house with like eight other people and most of them like her children. But yeah, she was very, very welcome, it offers us tea, coffee, all that stuff, alhamdulillah. But um, we're going to try and like, you know, take, take more and more videos as we go along throughout the day. But yeah, we're going to get breakfast soon and then go back to nap because we've got like one or two hours sleep. And brother Arib here, he's camera shy. So, you know, I'm going to have to call him out on it. <laughs> Right. Day, two, day two, and we're going to try and capture the hustle and bustle of the market area as we... Yeah, it's a lot different from, from the night time, isn't it? We're going to try and capture all the hustle and bustle as we walk along. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think uh, Naz has walked off a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh oh. I take this time to say that. Huh? Is this way? What time is it now? <laughs> so basically, okay, try and filming here. So it's again, all right, cool. So, but the PK, huh? Yeah, 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 that's it. Whatever it's called, comes a hand. Are, so these are called uh, Hamza hands to protect yeah, yourself yeah. from evil well, eye, but no. it's like debatable whether we um, we allow it or not. Brother PK. Oh yo. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, tell us. Tell us. Tell us, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Huh? So, so it's like uh, say, say something that you know, like it's like name where, where you're from. Oh, my name is actually PK. It's short for Pirakabin. Pirakabin. How many people know uh, that? Should, should I drop, drop it in the bottom of the screen? <laughs> 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 no, I'm right. confused. So it's like, uh, how, did you, how do you know Roku? Uh, uh, what made you want to come on this trip? Alright, cool. So like, a little bit about like, your background, in, just in general. I, I did one with Brother Naz mm -hmm. earlier today, uh, earlier this morning, as we tried to wake up for Fajr. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, we made it to Fajr. Don't worry. Don't worry. Like two days ago. Oh, yeah. it, it really was, man. Four, four hours no, in the I was airport. Dancing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's, so yeah, uh, tell us. Like, so how do you how do you meet? So I'm at Raku. Can I say his actual name? Uh, no. Okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I met Raku um, through his actual event. So his um, what was it called? Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. I saw on Twitter. Oh, you were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was there. So. Still prices. I don't think not, not many people would recognize him. I didn't know anyone at the event, so yeah. I just knew him. I, in, I knew him from Twitter. Okay. He said he was in it, so I messaged him. And, uh, and I just thought I'd pop along. And, yeah. And, um, yeah, I met loads of other people. So, yeah. yeah, I just thought I'd pop along. So that's why I met him. And towards the end of the event, that's when I spoke to him. And he was like, you know what, like, we should keep in contact. Mm -hmm. So I saw another tweet, like, I, say, I think a month after. Yeah, it was in January. I saw a month after. And uh, he said that he wanted to organize a trip to and so we did that. And I was in straight after you. Okay. Yeah, so as soon as he messaged, I was straight away down. Cause thing that was yeah, this this year I, I made it like after I saw, so I was exposed. Yeah. He had his Umrah post, he had his um, Palestine post. Yeah. 
and I made, I'll, I'll think to myself next year, so in 2018, so next year, 2019, I want to go to one of these places. Yeah. Just from looking at his post. Yeah. And yeah, then the, 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 the opportunity came across and I was just full on. As soon as he saw his tweet, I was like, I'm coming, man. All right. Cool, yeah. cool. That's good. All right, so like, um, where are you from, like, ethnic wise? And like, what, what do you do if like, do you want to give like a brief description? What, what do I do? Oh, okay. Uh, Ethnicity wise background. You don't, you don't need to you don't need to drop your salary, <laughs> don't need to drop your ex exact job, just say like what what sector uh, you work in. IT consultant, that's the job role. Oh yeah, got some idea from them. Oh, okay. We've got Yeah, I'm an IT consultant. Uh, I don't know what else I need to say. Uh, Bengali, Pakistani. Uh, I'm not Bengali or Pakistani. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, sorry ladies. <laughs> I think if they didn't get that earlier, let the people guess in it. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. We'll be looking forward to the rest of the trip. stopped by the IDF again. Um, they asked me what's in my bag, but obviously it's just literally the tripod and um, my hoodie because it's probably going to get cold in the, later on. But we're in the compound of Alaksa Masjid. If you can see the dome up there. Really? Yeah, cool. But we're still with the other brothers here. No, 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 so there's a burak that way. That's where the, the burak was tied, I believe. Um, yeah, that's where the burak was tied, on that side. No, anything to say? No, welcome. <laughs> so apparently, we're question, questionable where we're from. Yeah, yeah, they'll always ask you that. Where are you from? What you got on you? Yeah. What's your intention? Are you going to wave your flags or are you going to. Just pray. Yeah, it should be fine though. Do you think we'd get in trouble for wearing the scarves? Yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. You know the you know the, the, the oh, really? yeah. yeah, yeah. The no, Palestinian no, Palestinian that, ones. Because oh, oh, that represents them free, um, the, the freedom. Freedom. <coughs> I mean but free, normal colours are fine, right? Free, free <laughs> but yeah. We get when I go for it. Yeah. The irony in that. But yeah, we're going to go take some pictures in here. The beauty that is one of the prayer halls for Masjid Al-Aqsa, Alhamdulillah. So we came here this morning for Fajr, but I didn't bring my camera because it was low on charge. And I feel like the first experience, right, you just want to focus on it. As opposed to, you know, like trying to capture it for everything else. But I'll be taking a lot of pictures of this area. I mean, like, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's been like renovations here and there for this place, isn't it? Maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Maintenance. Well kept. Yes, yeah, very, very well kept. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit late for prayer, <laughs> so we just cut it here. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Starting off our tour of the Alaksa compound. Bold that. But yeah, so like we, we visited Alaksa, but this is like an actual tour by a person who knows the local area, alhamdulillah. So, uh, Ruku, what was the name of the person that's guiding us? Uh, his name is Abu Saleh. Abu Saleh. Uh, he's one of, one of the most well-known brothers in uh, Jerusalem, so it's good that we're going with him. You'll find out, man, he's very, very good. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Do you think he'd mind if we, like, if I asked him some questions or? Awesome, man. Ah, it's Main tour itself. <laughs> oh, dang it. It's everyday leg day here. <laughs> it really is like taking a step back into town. Yeah. Oh wow, it gets, it gets bigger lads. Important. When we talk about Aqsa, we are talking about our local masjid back home. We are talking about a masjid which is important for the entire Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That they should know what the exact things, what the point of Islamic way. So inshallah we are starting now with something called Al-Aqsa Qadim. Our section of the masjid we are called Al-Aqsa Qadim. After Al-Aqsa Qadim, inshallah, we're going to be going to a masjid called Masjid Al-Marwan. After Masjid Al-Marwan, inshallah, we're going to be going to the Qabristan, which is called Bab Al-Rahma. And inshallah, every single place that we will be going, and I'm going to give you the full history about that place. Then after that, inshallah, we're going to be going to Kubba Al-Sakhra, place called Kubba Al-Sakhra, Dome of the Rock. After that, we're going to exit from Aqsa. 
where we're going to be going to the quarter of the old city. Al-Quds, right in Maqdis, it has four quarters. Muslim quarter where your hotel is, there is Armenian quarter, there's a Christian quarter, and there's a Jewish quarter as well. After that, inshallah, we're going to be going to Al-Buraq Hall, where many people think call that place the Wailing Hall. In fact, we should call that place Al-Buraq Hall, regarding when our Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was laughing with his Buraq. He been tying his Buraq around that wall. After that, inshallah, we will be going to Masjid Umar ibn Khattab, and I'll be ending my trip today in a place called Masjid al khanqa al salahiyya Salah al-Din al-Yubi, rahmatullah, where he used to say and stay, where he used to be. Let's talk about Aqsa. 